In this video, I'm going to give you some information on building your course file inside of Unity. So this is going to take everything you've built in your scene and bundle it up into a package that can be used inside of GS Pro to play your course. So let's talk about some information about that. So this is called building your course file. Okay. Um, before you build your course file, there are a few things that you should do or you should consider doing, and there's going to be a couple of videos after this one that talk about them. One is, uh, which is kind of <clears throat> controversial, is baking your VS Pro vegetation, um, which is what it means is if you used VS Pro and you used rule-based planting. In other words, you drew a biome, and then you listed the plants and the trees and the rocks and objects that go in that biome. And then VS Pro uses the density settings and the slope and the um, elevation settings to plant. That's called rules-based planting because you created a bunch of rules, and then VS Pro decided based on those rules where to put those things, okay? Versus, persistent planning which is where you say click put something there click put something there click put something there baking converts your rules based planning the stuff you did in your biomes to persistent planning which is things that are planted um you know basically this tree goes here that tree goes there it's kind of hard to understand the bottom line is baking takes rules based planning and converts it to persistent okay this is optional some people find, and there's been, it's hard to finally determine, but sometimes if you do not bake and your course uh, is hard or is difficult to run on a computer and the resources on that person's computer running your course are limited, it could crash their computer. Baking, uh, again, it's, it's back and forth, they say, limits the chance of that happening. So you can bake, you can not bake, but if you find that people are reporting that your course is crashing a lot, you might want to bake vegetation. Don't worry, there's a video on that, check it out. Next thing you know is you need to disable colliders on your terrains, your foliage terrain if you have one, your inner terrain if you have one. The bottom line, if you don't do this, okay, and those terrains are sitting at the same level of your meshes, and those meshes have colliders too. And those colliders are assigned the physics like rough, green, fairway, deep rough, sand. If your foliage or your inner train is sitting at the same level as your message and they have a collider enabled on them, when you go to play in game, the ball is gonna stick like Velcro because it's gonna hit your terrain collider. And then in game, it might say something like none or wood when you play, that's because you have some type of phantom or collider in your game that is causing that. Most likely, you have not disabled your foliage or in your train. Now, the build script will do that for you, okay? But if you haven't named your things correctly, it will not, okay? And I'll show you that. If you're using uh, Auto Fence Builder, which is a paid asset, most likely you're not, but if it's a paid asset uh, that you bought from the Unity Store, it, it builds fences and things like that, it makes it really easy. You need to purge it. There's a video on doing that. So if you have Auto Fence Builder, you need to purge everything um, or else your build file gets really huge. It's a pain in the ass. It only takes a second to purge it. It's not a big deal, but it's just something you have to do. Now, to build your course file, this is a custom uh, script built inside of Unity for OPCD um, that you'll run. It's based on your scene name, okay? So when you hit build, you're going to put your scene into there, and I'm going to show you this in a video, and it's going to make a folder that's the same as your scene name, and it's going to create a Unity file uh, based on your scene name. Uh, the name of that scene is uh, it's kind of important, okay? We'll chat about that. Lastly, remember where you saved it, okay? And, and you can, where you save it is part of the settings when you build the course, um, but it gets put in a folder, and then that folder ultimately is what you're going to use in GreenKeeper later on. All right, so uh, that's enough theory at this point. Let's go on. 